Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered how the first stars were formed? How galaxies evolved? Or whether or not we're really alone in the universe? If you have, and if you happen to be passing through Calgary, then Russ Taylor is the man who can give you the answers. As director of the University of Calgary Center for Radio Astronomy, Russ is on the cutting edge of what's colloquially referred to as big science, the investigation of the essential puzzles that lie behind the structure, origins, and evolution of the universe. Russ carries out his research with radio telescopes, an incredibly powerful technology that can track celestial objects that are billions of light years away. Last year, Russ was selected from amongst all his peers to represent Canada on the board of the Square Kilometer Array a global scientific collaboration whose goal is to create the world's largest radio telescope. Once it is complete, the SKA will give scientists across the globe a chance to peer farther into space than humans ever have before. But peering into deep space creates a gargantuan wave of data back here on Earth. The data collected by the SKA in just a single day would take nearly two million years to play back on an iPod. Data like that can't move over a standard commercial internet connection, that's where Canary comes in. Together with Cybera, the Alberta Advanced Network, Canary is playing a critical role in enabling the broad dissemination of all those petabytes of data. And because this big science project is redefining what we consider big data, Canary supports Russ and his colleagues in creating the software architecture that allows those unprecedented quantities of data to be collected, stored, transformed, analyzed, and reused. Just as the internet was originally designed solely as a way for a lab at UCLA to share information with the Stanford Research Institute, Russ's technical innovations are likely to trickle down and make a significant impact in our daily lives. In addition to answering some of humanity's oldest questions about the possibility of life beyond Earth, in the very near future, the SKA project just might become the incubator for a wide range of new technologies and processes which have the power to change our lives to the same degree that the internet already has.